Viewer's discretion is advised. Greetings, our Hebrews, like brothers and sisters. This is the High Priest, L. D. Smith, the Watchman on the Wall. Family, uh, as always, grab that King James. But we want to let you guys know here. I want you guys to think about what we're talking about today. I want you guys to imagine. I want you guys to ponder. I want you guys to look up words. I want you guys to to dissect every word that uh. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be talking about today. Now, I think I named this one broke back preachers. Now we guys, we, I'm going to show you guys that there is a, there's a homosexual spirit that is, is, that is in Christianity. And you can see it all over all the preachers because their leader is a homosexual. Now it's, it's right in the pages. You don't have to, to believe me. I want you to read and I want you to just think about it. Please share it with your families. And show them that look, y'all, it's right here. It's written in the Bible, and we didn't even see it. But I'm gonna show it to you. Now let's go to the book of Mark, the uh, 14th chapter. Now Jesus is out here with his disciples, and uh he's been to be arrested. Now let us begin with verse verse 50. It says, and they all forsook him. And fled who? His disciples. Y'all go back and read the whole story. They fled and left him. His disciples. Now look at this very next verse. It says in 50, 51, And there followed him a certain young man, having a linen cloth cast about his naked body. Now, I don't, I don't care what anyone says. Why are you out here with a young man naked at night? Jesus. Naked at night. Yeshua. Why are you out here with a young man naked at night? Yahweh Shai. But your disciples left you. So you can see clearly that the disciples wasn't with Jesus, but it was a young man that was with him. Now, watch, watch closely what happens. Look what it says. Cast clothes cast about his naked body and the young man laid hold on him the young man was holding on to him they was together but remember now all of his all of his uh, uh uh disciples they had cut out they had left him now think about this and he left the linen cloth and fled from them naked see that they were together. That's why it is a spirit of homosexuality over Christianity. Always have been. Because their leader is, is and was, you know, even to this day, wherever he's at, he's still a homosexual. Now, that being said, I'm going to prove it to you because any of you guys know that I always say that I'm going to prove it. And not only that, in our word, it says, when there is a witness of two, the matter is settled. Now, I'm going to show you something else. Now, let's go to Mark. Let's go to Mark, the seventh chapter. Now, look at this right here. Mark 7. Look what it says. And now, we're looking at Mark, the seventh chapter. Let's, let's look at that. Let's look at verse 32. Mark 7 and 32. Now, look at this. And they brought unto him one that was deaf. The man could not hear. And had an impediment in his speech. All right, he, he couldn't hear, neither did he have, neither could he, could he speak properly. Now, I'm gonna show you guys something. Uh, pay close attention. Look at the wording. That's why T.D. Jakes and all the rest of them, they felt that they could kiss, kiss and, and, and grope and, and do all these things to little little young boys. But here you can see it's right in the pages. This ain't, ain't nothing new under the sun. This is in the Christian and the church. It always has been there. But I'm showing you here. Share it with your family. Look what it says here. It said that he had an impediment in his speech and they beseech him to put his hands on him. Only his hands, only his hands. But look what he does. And he took him aside. Why? Why would you take this individual, why would you take this man aside from the multitude? And he put his fingers in his ears. That, that 
in the cage, you could have did that right there. But the reason why you took him aside because you were finna do something else. What he does. And he spat and touched his tongue. Now my question to anybody, got his fingers in his ears. He done cleared his mouth out, he spat. Then he does what? He touched his tongue, how does he touch his tongue? His tongue. You can see right there in the pages. This is, this, that's why that spirit of homosexuality is all over the Christian church. Now, they tell you, I'm talking to all the black people, your community, the liquor stores, got on the sign spirits, right? You know it. They don't call it a liquor. They call it spirits. There are spirits operating in this realm, and there is a spirit of homosexuality over the Christian church. All of them have that spirit of, 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 of uh, homosexuality on them. I'm telling you, woman or man, it goes both ways. Your leaders in Christianity have a spirit of homosexuality on them. So, like I say, I want you guys to understand something. The Most High God is calling his people. He uses one man. I ask you guys to think about it. I ask you guys to look at the wording. Look at the wording. Look at the wording. Break it up and look at it. And you'll see what I'm telling you is the truth. He had no business taking that man aside unless he was going to do something that wasn't proper. It, it makes no sense. But after you see what he did with his mouth, then you can see why he carried him aside from the multitude. Even AI read the scripture that was given and understood what it was depicting. So family, anyway, we're going to close there. We give the most high all the praise and all the honor, all the glory. All right? We're going to close there. So uh, we want to wish you guys a happy Sabbath. Uh, and until our next time, we say shalom, family. We love you. Who's this guy? Um, a friend of mine. Okay. How old is he? Um, 18. Okay. Do you have a driver's license? Or no. Do you have any kind of identification? No. So who is he to you? What is a friend. Where did you meet him? Um, I met him um, a couple days ago, and then I didn't have my pants down, though. No, he did. He had his pants down? No. Oh, wow. So you're not going to tell me what's going on? No. That, that, that was, if, I, it is, if, it, if that's what you guys are doing, that's what you guys are going to do right. at some point. Right. It is what it is. Right. You know, people do it all the time, but you don't need to lie. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was sucking him. Okay. All right. Hey family, you guys let us know if you understand this Sabbath's teaching. We should have nothing to do with the Christians, their so-called New Testament and their leaders. Pick one, Jesus, Yeshua, or Yahawashai. It gets clearer and clearer. Remember to share this video with your family because we are in the 11th hour. Shalom family.